Hello YouTube, it's me again. It's uh, currently 4 in the morning on a Monday. Um, just thought I'd do another video update. Uh, you might be wondering why it's got a strap on it. You will see in a minute. But uh, let me just go over a little bit. So the driven, sorry, driver pulley is finally, I drilled and tapped the end of the uh, shaft so I could throw a bolt in it. Tried to get it on center as best I could. I thought it wasn't too bad. And made a spacer to keep it out from the flywheel so then it's in line with the driven pulley. As for the jack shaft, I finally went to Princess Auto, picked up a sprocket. This is a 15 tooth sprocket. Guy I'm basing my build off did a 14 tooth. Um, I got a little bit more power, so I'm hoping I can do a 15 tooth. If not, I did pick up a 14 tooth and also a 16 tooth to uh, try out. Uh, but I damaged that pill block on the opposite side. Um, trying to get it off. I was having a hell of a time and it ended up breaking the outer casing. So that's just on there temporary until I can get my uh, butt over to uh, Princess Auto and uh, get a new one. But anyway, that's all bolted in. Um, I still got to do the spacers, figure that out. I'm pretty sure I... I'm pretty sure where it's sitting now is where it's going to stay. I got enough slack that uh, this spins freely. Uh, I was able to pick up a master link for the chain. Um, yeah. But if I come around to this side, you'll notice I have a fuel tank and a battery sitting right here. And a fuel pump just kind of temporarily sitting there and a fuel filter. So let me go over this system. Uh, so fuel pump, I got run into 12 volts right off the battery. Uh, I got a little shutoff switch, uh, but I have it tied into multiple systems. Uh, so how this system works is there's a send and a return line to the jerry can up to the uh, filter. But if you notice, it also has a send line going to the injection pump and a return line. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, coming off here back into the system. So it kind of siphons off the flowing fuel. Um, this is an engine that uses glow plugs. I do not have them hooked up right now. I don't need them right yet. Uh, as for the starter, I have temporarily hooked up a power wire going straight to the battery. And I have a ground going straight to the frame. Uh, the fuel shutoff switch, or solenoid, located right here. Uh, I thought I knew the wiring for it. I hooked it up and it started to smoke a little bit, so I had to do a little experimenting. I do not have the third wire hooked up. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, when I looked online, I found that one wire is a pull-in and one wire is a pull-out. Although, when I disengage the pull-in, it springs out. So, I'm not even sure if I need this. We'll see. And then the other wire is going to ground. Now, I have the power wires tied into the same wire that's running my fuel pump, hooked to a switch. Pump kicks on. And if you listen, you can hear that click. That's the fuel shutoff shutting off. And then my S terminal for the starter. I have just a stray wire so I can so I can hit it. So I thought it would be fun to hear it run and see if the CVT works. So that's why I have it strapped down. Keep in mind I'm not using gold plugs. So it's not going to start right off the bat. i got to crank it for a little bit. But I will rev it up for you guys. Here we go. Fuel pump on. Fuel sh shut off solenoid engaged.
I got the idle set a little low. Oh, maybe I'll crank that up a little bit. I got a little screw here I can turn in. Let's try that again. That's better. The CBT's not okay. Sitting there idling. Forever up. Well, looks like my fuel shutoff switch just fried. That kind of sucks. Good timing though, made it on the video. So now I gotta figure that out. But at least you got to hear it run. Anyway, till next time.